Hi guys, Andrea Ciani here and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to understand how to create a correct auto smooth effect with geometry nodes. So let's get started. We are using uh, Blender version 3.3.1 and uh, I decided to uh, show you how to make this effect because uh, I had more cases when I needed to use this feature. So press plus general and geometry nodes. We can create a simple mesh like uh, a cube. Press tab to enter in the edit mode to for edge selection. Select these four edges for example and to see the properties and increase the mean level weight. Now tap to exit from the edit mode. Go to the modifier properties, add the modifier, add the bevel modifier and limited method with the weight, increase the segment and increase a little bit the amount. So you can see this effect, we can right button and shade auto smooth and you can see it's easy using the modifier properties here. But now we are going to create the same effect with the geometry nodes. So press new to create a new modifier here. We will disable for a moment the bevel modifier to make the same effect. Now for this I will create a quadrilateral curve. So I want to join the original geometry with the quadrilateral and link this to the group output. I want to transform a little bit this quadrilateral on the Y axis to see the result. I move this a little bit. I have to add a fillet curve here to have a poly and account the same account as the modifier here. So for it's perfect. Now we can fill this curve. Next we have to extrude this mesh by two for example. Turn it off the individual faces so remember that you can use the face orientation here option to see the normals of your mesh so we need to attach the bottom part of this mesh to the original so we need to join the, the previous fillet curve but if I join these together we need to flip this uh, face before join so we have to add a flip face here now remember that you have here a join geometry but not a merged geometry so if I press shift control and click you can see in the spreadsheet 60 vertices so I need to merge these vertices merge by distance here and now if I press again shift control and click you can see 40 vertices so this is one entire mesh now I can offset this to the Z to minus unit so we can have the same meshes here now to have the same effect of this auto smooth feature we can set smooth node here before join geometry and you have to perfectly understand the concept if I drop this line you see we lost the auto smooth so remember that blender starts to apply the auto smooth feature on the original geometry and all the added geometry to itself so you can't use only the generated geometry in the group output and have the auto smooth feature you cannot you have to join the original geometry and the generated geometry to have the feature applied on the original and to the next geometries added to the join geometry node. So keep in mind that also in the case where we have an inverted order of this join geometry operation, we lost in the same way the auto smooth feature. So you have to remember that you need to maintain the correct order. So use for the first mesh the original geometry and next the added geometry. So so now you might ask me and if I want to hide the original because I don't want the original mesh, I want only the generated geometry. So it's easy. I found this easy and simple solution. You can add a delete geometry node here before the join geometry node, link the original geometry, link the geometry in the join geometry node, drop this link, but keep in mind that it you have at least one vertex of the original geometry 
to have the auto smooth feature on the generated geometry so to do this you can easily add an index and if the index not equal to zero so i want only the index of the first point of the entire original geometry you can use this to filter the point that we need to delete and voila this is the result i hide the face orientation and now we have the correct auto smooth feature maintained in blender with geometry nodes that's all thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like it i hope you will use this trick for your projects and see you in the next tutorial bye